21 in circle O shown below, diameter DB is perpendicular to chord AC at E. So there's a whole set of problems in geometry that deal with this exact situation where you have a diameter, which is a special kind of chord, right, that runs through the center of the circle. So that's DB. And then you have another chord which does not run through the center of the circle, which is perpendicular to the diameter. And when this happens, certain things happen. We'll see as we go through. So DB is 34. That's the whole diameter, right? DB is 34. Diameter must be 34. And by the way, what's the radius if that's the case? The radius must be half of that, right? So it must be 17. So let's keep that in mind. And now they're telling us that AC is 30. Well, one of the things that happens in this situation, the chord that meets with the diameter um, at a right angle, it gets bisected by the diameter. So that is to say that if AC is 30, AE must be 15, and EC must also be 15. I'm going to put that down here. Okay, and DE is greater than BE. The only reason they're telling us that is just so that we know this core doesn't land on the other side of the center of the circle, but we probably wouldn't have thought that anyway by the drawing. And they want to know what is the length of BE. So they're interested in this length right here. That's what we want to know. Well, the key idea is to realize that OB is a radius, right? It's 17 units long. So if we knew how long EO was, then we could do the radius 17 minus EO and we'd get BE. But we don't know exactly what the what EO is. What we can do is we can draw OC. OC is also a radius and we know the radius is 17 and we also know that this is a right angle and now we can deal with that right triangle. So I'm going to take that triangle out and draw it over here. So that's triangle E where the right angle is, C, O. And now by just dealing with that triangle, we have 15, 17, and this is EO, which we'd like to know, so we'll call that X. Well, this is just Pythagorean theorem, right? So X squared plus 15 squared equals 17 squared. So x squared equals 289 minus 225. So x squared equals 64. So x must equal 8. So EO is 8. Also, you might remember, just memorize some of the basic Pythagorean triples. It'll save you a lot of time as long as you're a geometry student. So 8, 15, 17 is a Pythagorean triple, and you might keep that in mind. Okay, so we know EO is 8. That's this guy here. I'll label that. And we know the whole radius is 17, so BE must be the difference. It must be 17. BE is 17 minus EO, which is 8. So BE is 9, which is choice 2.